Welcome to an example in which we're looking at two matrices, matrix B and matrix D, and they're wanting us to, down here, here's the actual question, they're wanting us to take four times matrix B and add to it three times matrix D and put the answer right here. I think it's pretty obvious if you probably know exactly what needs to be done. I mainly wanted to show you how to use the matrix calculator to make it easier. But anyway, by hand, first off, you would, you're just going to take four times matrix B. So, you know, four times every one of these numbers. So right here would be four times six plus, and then um, I'm supposed to do, what is it? Three times matrix D. So three times D. So three times negative five. I don't know what that is. What is that? 24 plus um, negative 15. So 24 minus 15, what's that? Nine. So nine would go there. And then in the second spot, you do it again. Four times negative three. So for right here, this is how I want to show you how tedious this is. Then we'll do it with the calculator. Four times negative three plus, and then you go, okay, then the next one here, three times three, so what is that? Negative 12 plus nine. Oops, change color there, nine. So that'd come out, what, negative three? Negative three, et cetera. You gotta do every one of those. You know, it's kind of really painful. Let me show you how to use the matrix calculator, which you can use during an exam. So first off, here's like a home, our homepage screen. So uh, I don't know if you know, but right here is the scientific calculator, and you can use that during exams. It will allow it. And then right here is the matrix calculator, as it says, matrix. So you can use those two things. The scientific calculator, just, you know, anything you want to calculate and just general calculations and the matrix calculator for matrices. So I'm going to go to the matrix calculator and do this problem. So here we go. Let me switch now um, to the matrix calculator. And okay, Let's see if I know what I'm doing here. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. You're seeing my screen, and um, let me uh, let me go. I'm going to go to the matrix calculator. So I'm going to click. See, I just clicked on that. Boom! The matrix calculator pops up. So here we are. This is the Desmos.com matrix calculator. So I'm going to click New Matrix now. Click New Matrix, and it puts in it an automatic says A is a two by two. So I know we called it B and D. Um, it doesn't matter what names you call it. If, if that bugs you, you can come over here and I think you can call it B. I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put in the matrix. Now we need to make it bigger. So um, I need to increase that by one. Let me see three. It looks like it's four down and three across. So there we go. So I just increased these. So, and then I'm going to put in the numbers. So six, I'm hitting tab every time. Six, negative three, zero, um, five, negative five, negative eight, seven, negative two. Whoops, that was a mistake. Seven, negative two, one, negative 10, 10, two. Okay, I'll hit enter. I just hit enter. It's got matrix. Now I click new matrix. This is going to do matrix B. This one's the same thing. So I got to go let's see, down two and over one like that. And then put in the numbers there. Negative five, three, 10. Five, three, 10, nine, eight, five, nine, eight, five, seven, one, negative 10, four, zero. And then hit enter. Oops, no, I just made a mistake. I don't know what I did there. Um, no, no, that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm showing you all the possible mistakes here, I guess. I, mean, five, six, seven, I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm going to have to put these in again. Negative 10, uh, 4, 0. I guess I maybe have to go over here. So once you hit enter here. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I, I hit enter, worked that time. Probably, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly, very much. I'm sure you're better at tech than me. You can figure this out. So these are matrix A and matrix B. You could have called it, you could use these, or you could say, I'm going to call it matrix B, you know, or, or matrix D or whatever. Anyway, um, whoops, where did I go? 
<laughs> crazy stuff again. All right. Anyway, so I called it A and B, whatever. So I'm going to go four times matrix A plus three times matrix B. So here I can, that's the answers right there. Remember how we had nine right here. The first answer we had nine and minus three. See those right there. There they are. There's the whole answer to the whole question. So you just put in matrix A, put in matrix B, four times A plus three times A. You can use these buttons down here four times or you can use a keyboard or whatever. And there it is. It doesn't matter whether you call the matrices B and D or A and B or Joe and Tom. It doesn't matter. It just, there it is. There's the answers to that question. So there we go.